Um, we have a question from Milos, and Milos, uh, I, I'm wondering if Milos fully understands um, the, the, the I'll, I'll, let's go through the question and then I'll go. I might have mentioned this previously, but I finished up the Dan John trifecta this summer. Love it. The 10K swings, the mass made simple and easy strength. Now, let me do the math. So um, 10K swings takes 20 days. Mass made simple takes six weeks. Easy strength takes eight weeks. I don't know how you did that. Um, and it was nothing short of spectacular. Good, and I'm glad. Um, oh, oh, I get it. So, okay, so he did all three of those. I tell you one thing, if you decide to do the 10K, the 10K challenge, mass made simple on easy strength, I think you just put together a real good program for American football. That's not bad. Okay, I followed that up by the 531, so Jim Wendler's 531 program, and saw even more progress. Uh, it makes sense because now you're doing a, you know, a program ba uh, based on increasing uh, weight and reps. The journey so far has been fantastic, but I have a feeling I can't continue with 531 for much longer. I'm about to finish my fourth cycle, and the squats are starting to get a bit too heavy. I was wondering if there are any programs you recommend doing now. I could always deload 531, but maybe by my body just needs more stimulus. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm just want to make sure you understand that week four in the 531 program is a deload, and every single person I've ever dealt with who has ignored the deload on week four really fails miserably. Uh, I got to tell you, make, I, I had my high school uh, athletes do 531. Uh, if you read my new Easy Strength Omni book, I kind of explain it. <laughs> I think I say something like day one, deadlift, everything else. Day two, squat, everything else. Day three, bench press, everything else. Day four, uh, military press, everything else. Um, and everything else is tumbling and uh, loaded carries and kettlebells and bodybuilding stuff and pull up. I mean, uh, we use that, uh, we use the, uh, his four day week program uh, to get our kids as strong as we possibly could and then did everything else with literally everything else. A little, I hope I didn't make anything too confusing there. Um, 531, my brother Gary did it almost straight through for two years. So 531 uh, is a program, if you respect week four's deload, that you can do for a long, long time. When you mention the squats being too heavy, um, there, there's that's why we moved to front squats because front squats seem to have a built-in uh, regulator on them. They, they hold things back a little bit more. Uh, whereas back squats, people start leaning over more, uh, going shallow, stuff like that. But in the front squat, you know, <laughs> If you hit a set of five in the front squat, and you, it's supposed to be as many reps as you can, you'll get, and if five is hard, you'll get six, seven, and then you'll rack it. Maybe you'll get eight, but you'll rack it. With squats, I always felt with every squat in my entire life, I could always do one more rep, which isn't necessarily what we always want. So um, where do you go from here? Well, you've done, I mean, you've done a lot of good stuff here. I'm going to toss this out, but why don't you consider easy strength for fat loss for a while? Um, just because it's such an, uh, an easy program. So vertical, vertical press, uh, two sets of five, pull-ups, two sets of five. And by the way, other rep schemes are fine too. A deadlift variation, two sets of five, a loaded carry, or um, five sets of 15 in the swing, and then you go for a walk. And what's nice about that, uh, you can do that three to five days a week. Uh, when I'm doing easy strength for fat loss, I go five days a week. When I do easy strength for Olympic lifting, I go three days a week. Um, that's just your mileage may vary. And the reason I'm thinking that is that you've been doing some, you've been doing some very do this work. Well, easy strength isn't as much, but mass made simple, the 10K challenge. Um, five, three, one, these are all do this programs. And I like do this programs, but I also think there's a need sometimes just to come back in the gym, um, get the movements in, get your walk in and kind of give yourself a little bit of, 
here's an idea. Take a month off, not off, uh, take a month, five days a week, easy strength for fat loss. Make it, a, make it dumb simple. I mean, um, I mean, two sets of five in the pre a vertical press, any variation you want. Two sets of five in any variation you want, a vertical pull. Uh, any two sets of five of any deadlift variation you want. Um, suitcase carry, go heavy down and heavy back or do a lot of rep, whatever you want to do. Go for a walk uh, if you want to wear a vest or something good for you. And do that for maybe um, four weeks, 28 days, and then revisit the 531. And all I'm going to say is this time, maybe swap out the back squat for a different squat variation and just see how that goes for you, okay? That's a, it's, a, it's a question I get um, when I go to conferences, people ask me a lot about 531. I'm happy to answer questions about 531. I think Jim Wendler's 531 is the only program I like to answer questions about. I hate it when, I hate it when people ask me about other people's programs because I don't I didn't write it, I did, often didn't do it and it's the I just don't know I just don't know what to say. But this is a good question. Thanks so much.